What's up guys, my name is Ambrush and I make beat making and crate making videos and in this video I'm going to show you how to get nasty sounding drums in three simple steps. Okay, so let's take a look how we get those nasty sounding drums. Okay, first we're going to take a look at our drum pattern which sounds like this. Pretty standard hip hop, uh, hip hop drums, and um, yeah, nothing special here. Let's make them sound more special. So what I'm gonna do is to hit plugin. Make sure you're on the group, so we're affecting all the sounds in the drum group. I'm gonna add another slot, and it's already on internal. And you're gonna choose scroll down either with this one or here on the saturator, saturator, choose it, and now let's hear how it sounds. Much, much dirtier, right? A lot better. That's, that's the coloration we want from the saturation. And you can of course play around with the settings. Drive is the main one that I play with. That was the first step. Open up another slot. Internal vendor again. Or if you want to use another compressor, you can do that. Scroll to compressor. And now we're gonna do some drum bus compressing compressing. So I'm turning down the threshold a little bit to get some more compression out of it. And the I'm gonna leave the attack time, I think that is nice already. But the main thing, if you know anything about compression, is that you should play with the attack and release. And uh, the release is especially important because you, what that makes it pump in time with the music. For like pr pretty slow uh, hip hop beats like this one, I usually leave it around 90 to 100. Depends depends on what the tempo is, and it's 79 BPM right now. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty slow, so maybe even like this. That was the second one, and now I'm gonna move on to the third, which is kind of optional, but. Uh, which is, but it is part, part of the kind of original boom bap sound from the 90s. Standard settings is low pass and the cutoff is, is at 1000 hertz. So let's listen to how that sounds. Kind of, uh, also pretty nasty, but what I usually do is to turn it all the way up and then turn it down until I find a sweet spot that I like. The filter works in this way that it's no frequencies above 3.6 kilohertz is uh, heard, but there is kind of like a bump in the EQ just before this, but that is the resonance. So if you don't want more of the of the sound of the high hi hat sounds in around here, you can just turn that down, or you can turn it up, of course. But I'm gonna turn it down. <laughs> Using a filter like this is also nice uh, to do to give um, uh, the vocals some more space in uh, the mix. So that's it, and uh, now I can turn back on my other stuff, my other sample here and let's listen to it together.
to sum it up, saturation, compression, low pass filter. But you can do it in any order you want, this is just how I do it. That was it for this video, now you know how to get instant nasty sounding drums. And uh, yeah, please leave a like, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.